I decided to cut off my dreads because I had had them for about 10 years and I was just ready for a change and I felt like I loved them but I didn't want to be locked into them forever. Break It On is the new album that just came out and I'm really excited. I put um, my heart and my soul into it and it's glimpses um, of different moments you know, that I've been feeling and what I've been going through different vibes I've been on for the past couple years and it's soulful and it's hard hitting and it's heartfelt and it's fun too. With this album I think I let down my guard a little bit more. Some of the songs that I sung are a little more intimate, you know, even the way that I recorded it, sometimes it was just me, you know, in a room. Um, freestyling whatever I felt and um, I got to experiment vocally and subject wise I got to experiment a little bit and I've come into myself more now as a woman and grown up a little more so I feel like I get to share a more sensual side of myself also. I think my fans have been open to play and me um, being more sensual because it's been, you know, it's been evolving and I think I hint at things and I went there a little more this time. Music and lyrics and performance need to have a, a collaboration and um, that's how the music made me feel, you know, so I just went with it. A common theme with you is that you don't get the recognition or the commercial recognition that you deserve. Now, do you agree with that statement? I don't know if I agree with that statement. I know with the music that I'm doing now and um, where I am now in my life, I feel I'm ready to move on to a larger platform and um, I want my audience to start expanding. I would love to do bigger rooms with the same feeling that's been there, you know, the whole way. Within myself, I feel myself stretching out more, so I think that will come. I think recognition definitely feels good, and at the same time, I'm thankful that after all these years, you know, that I still have a career, you know, and people that have been supporting me and people that are true fans. There's also a consensus that um, you actually would have more, I guess, a, a more broader audience if you would, you know, maybe get scantily clad and drop it like it's hot, you know, like some of your <laughs> peers. <laughs> do you feel pressure to do that sometimes? I, th I don't think people want to see me do that. I don't, I but you know, no. <laughs> I, I'm you not know, ready for that. I think, you know, I think when I first came into the um, into the industry and when I first started a career, I had a choice of how how I wanted to measure my success and what kind of impact I wanted to make on the world and I chose a direction that was real for me, you know, and my music um, reflected that and probably didn't have as much commercial appear a com commercial appeal as some of the other contemporary artists and um, I'm okay with that and I I, um, I think that whatever I do I have to I have to do it in my authentic way that's why even with play it's like it's still on my vibe even though it's kind of sexy it's more on the sensual side instead of just being in your face and raunchy that um, so I feel like people can still relate to it in a real way.
One of your peers is actually Rihanna and she's gotten a certain degree of backlash because of her, um, I guess you could say, overly sex, sexual image mm -hmm. or whatnot. Now, um, what are your thoughts on that? I think that Rihanna is fly. I like her style and I think that it's, I can, I can go there personally. Part of me wants to say to each their own, you know, there's different, there's different artists and different entertainers. And uh, I also know that what each of us do is having an impact on on the world so it's gonna the it'll it'll trickle down and um i wonder how um how different up-and-coming girls you know are relating to that what record. other plans do you have outside of music there's a few things that i want to get into besides music um, and they're all creative i think acting is one of them I was just talking to someone um, today about um, about the movie Sparkle that they're doing, and um, so we'll see how that how that evolves. But I love I love all creative arts, and I'm excited to start getting into you know um, the acting. Fashion piece, which is the visual part, and um, you know, I'll be getting back in the studio. You know, this album sounds. You spoke about Sparkle. Would you like to have um, been a part of the remake, or are you going to be a part I may, of the remake? I might be. Oh, I cool. might be. We'll see. All right, so I think you're talking to people who are doing the remake right now. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah. How soon do you think it will, it will be before you know for sure whether or not you'll be a part of that remake? Um, in the next couple weeks, okay. I will I'll update you. I'll probably put it on my website. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> All right, now I know you probably can't tell us much, but will you be... Uh, are you talking about being a major part of the film? Or it's like more like a cameo? Or... Um, Hey, this is Guacalet, and you've just been granted all access on cherryontop.com.